Welcome to the Angus Report, a news program for cattle producers. The week's top headlines from American Angus Association headquarters include the ultimate eating experience. We discuss antibiotics use and new veterinary feed directive regulation. And we sit down with famous cowboy poet and storyteller Baxter Black. This is the Angus Report. Hello, I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Crystal Albers. Our top story this week. A good eating experience is fundamental for building beef demand. Travis O'Quinn from Kansas State University says palatability depends on tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. The key is marbling and cattlemen's ability to hit top quality grades. The number one way that we've seen through multiple research studies uh, to guarantee an overall eat a good eating experience for the beef consumer is to increase the marbling level of the product. Marbling has a very linear effect, whether we're talking about tenderness, juiciness, flavor, and overall liking. Uh, the more marbling we put on the product, the overall uh, higher the product scores for all three of those traits and, and greatly increases the chance that the consumer is going to have a great eating experience on the back end. The results of our 2010 beef quality audit showed that groups of uh, retailers and uh, food service groups, the groups of the industry that actually sell beef directly to consumers, uh, describe eating satisfaction mostly as beef flavor. Whereas everyone that's before that in the supply chain, whether we're talking the producers, packers, um, they described eating satisfaction more as uh, beef tenderness. And so I think what it comes down to is what should the target for the industry be or a cattle producer. I think that the, the overwhelming answer should be to create a good product that's going to have a good overall eating experience. And that should come down to both tenderness, flavor, and juiciness so you'd be able to create that. The Food and Drug Administration is proposing to amend its animal drug regulations regarding veterinary feed directive or VFD drugs. FDA's VFD regulation, which became effective back in January 2001, established requirements relating to the distribution and use of feeds including medically important antibiotics. The rule is intended to improve the efficiency of FDA's VFD program, and Mike Apley from Kansas State discusses how it could affect cattlemen. The big change will be that feed uses of medically important antibiotics are going to go to requiring a veterinary feed directive. A veterinary feed directive is a lot like a prescription, but a little bit different. So that will become a regulation and that will start in December of 2016. At the same time, the water medications we use, so tetracycline or sulfas that you buy in the foil pouches and can put in a water tank or in a proportioner, those are gonna become prescriptions. So those will require a veterinarian to write your prescription just like you need to buy a lot of our injectable antibiotics. You keep a record, the vet keeps a record. So it's gonna add that layer of discussing what you want to do with your veterinarian, having them authorizing it, and then going and purchasing it. The veterinarian's going to have to devote a substantial amount of time to it, so it probably will add some cost for the producer. The ionophores aren't included in this. Uh, the end of 2016 and December is when it will take effect. Ex expect a lot of opportunities to learn about how it'll change. Worldwide food prices fell to their lowest level in nearly five years, according to Reuters. Supplies for most commodities remain at high levels, and the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's price index fell to its lowest since June 2010. High global production and low crude oil prices have helped cap food prices, according to the report. And the latest expectations for cereal stocks should further downward pressure. We go now to Jenna McCrell with a look at news you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Crystal. The countdown is officially underway for the 2015 National Junior Angus Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A summer highlight for many families, participants will travel from coast to coast to compete in the year's most prestigious junior livestock event. The show takes place July 13th through the 18th, and there are a few deadlines to keep in mind prior to the event. The ownership and entry deadline is Friday, May 15th, and you can submit entries online at njaa.info. Monday, May 25th is the deadline to submit career development contest resumes and public speaking outlines. And on Monday, June 1st, National Junior Angus Board applications are due, as well as delegate names for the National Junior Angus Association elections. That's also the deadline to submit names for the showmanship competition. For more information and a list of rules and requirements, please visit the NJAA website. National Junior Angus Association members can also showcase their photography skills during the Angus Journal's annual photo contest. Entries must be submitted by May 15th. And for tips and tricks on how to capture the perfect image, follow the Angus Media Communications team on Twitter and Instagram, 
where they're sharing advice using the hashtag AngusPhotoTip. Be sure to check it out and ask us any additional questions you may have while taking photographs. Visit AngusJournal.com to learn more. And that's what you need to know this week in the Angus business. Thanks, Jenna. When the Angus Report returns, using quality as a risk management tool. And later, we travel to Arizona to visit with renowned cowboy poet and author, Baxter Black. Visit Angus.org to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. The Angus Report is brought to you by Merck Animal Health. Why not prevent respiratory disease before it steals from your bottom line? Vista Once protects your calves with the most complete respiratory disease coverage available. And Vision Black Leg vaccines can add 14 pounds per calf at weaning. Contact your veterinarian or animal health supplier today. Working your cattle just got easier. Introducing the new Vet Gun delivery system, a new way to apply topical insecticides to your cattle. The Vet Gun lets you remotely treat cattle with effective parasite control, so you can do it just walking among the herd. It's that simple. The proven topical insecticide AML Vet Cap is used with the Vet Gun. It works fast to control horn flies and lice while minimizing stress on your cattle. Fast, easy, effective. Vet Gun. Check with your animal health supplier for availability. Some call it a come from behind victory. An unlikely win. A reversal of fortune. The feeling of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. This is our moment. Our victory dance. Because we choose confidence. We choose Zuprivo for BRD treatment. Are you going to do this every time we treat a calf with Zuprivo? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, all right, then. Don't let BRD interfere with his performance. Treat him with Zuprivo and get him back to his home pen. Zuprivo is a fast-acting, long-lasting BRD treatment that you can count on to get the job done. Ask your veterinarian to prescribe Zuprivo. Choose confidence. Choose Zuprivo for Merck Animal Health. You pick your cattle and your partners with care. Count on those who share your values about hard work and a reputation that is earned. Choose the optimists, the exciting ideas, like GeneSeq Genomic Profiling. When you go with the GeneSeq GGPHD, you can invest time, money, and reputation in superior seed stock. You know their merit earlier in life so you can raise and market calving ease, growth, and carcass bulls with greater confidence. And when your bulls perform as advertised, your customers can take your word to the bank. We know you are good at what you do. We help you stand out from the crowd. GeneSeq, a new brand of partner. Lawson Family Farms invites you to the 2015 Spring Bull and Female Sale, April 25th in Ewing, Virginia. With guest consigner Double D Farms, the sale starts at 5 p.m. and features the new herd sire Shooter. Visit cotton-associates.com or lawsonfamilyfarms.com to find out more about the April 25th sale and find us on liveauctions.tv the day of the sale. Lawson Family Farms, rock solid genetics. Join the team, the Beef Quality Assurance Team. Getting BQA certified shows you're committed to practices that produce the highest quality beef in the world. And by visiting BQA.org, you can take the online certification course at a time that fits your schedule and from the comfort of your home or office. You'll also find lots of helpful tips on improving animal health and animal handling practices. Get certified, BQA certified, because it's about doing the right thing. Visit BQA.org today and become a member of the BQA team.